Welcome to Savannah, Georgia, one of our favorite cities. And mom, this is your first time here. Yes, it is. I don't recall ever being to Savannah, so it ought to be an interesting experience. We're excited to show you around. We're gonna start off like we like to start off so many places with the trolley tour. We're using the tour pass again, like we did last time we were in Savannah, but they're now working with a different tour company. So today we're gonna ride the Old Town Trolley. Let's go see what it's all about. Looking forward to it. Time to visit a National Historic Landmark. This is the birthplace of Juliet Gordon Lowe, who founded the Girl Scouts. Mom, you were a Girl Scout? Yes, I was. I really was. And I was a Girl Scout. And this is part of our one of the regular stops on the tour pass. Let's go check it out. The Juliet Gordon Lowe birthplace home tour. What'd you think, Mom? It was awesome. It was really awesome. Full history. Great. Alec was our tour guide. He was fantastic. Not only just his knowledge of the Girl Scout organization, the history of the Lowe family, women's progression through the years, and her all the things that her family did over the years. Just amazing, mind-blowing, and a beautiful home. So definitely recommend this tour. Definitely for anyone who is or was a Girl Scout, but really anybody. I, I enjoyed it. There yeah. you go. And I promise he was not a Girl Scout. So no. <laughs> fantastic. Put this on your list of things to do. Honestly, it was good. Next up is a museum that we saw last time we were in Savannah, but we decided not to go. We were doing so many other things, but we're taking it in this time. This is the Prohibition Museum, and from what we understand, it's a one-of-a-kind in the country. Let's go see. Okay, well, Mom, last time Stacy and I came here to Savannah, one of the favorite things we did on our tour pass was we got to come to the old Savannah Theater. Yes, it's old, folks. This is the oldest continuously operating theater in the United States, and it's really cool inside. We got to see uh, um, 
uh, the sister one act. That, uh, sister act in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that was really cool. Tonight, we're going to get to see Savannah live, and it's kind of like a, it's a music review or something. So, uh, we didn't really come for that. We just wanted to come for the theater, but we got lucky to get tickets again. So, I'm what are you thinking for, about? I'm looking forward to it. It's Homespun Entertainment, and it's part of the tour thing that we got in the package. Yeah. It is, it's going to be good. I haven't seen it, but I know it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go have some fun. Well, what'd y'all think? Oh, I mean, it was hard to stay in my seat. <laughs> this fantastic show, we was here from, since 2002, 2002, and they are all locals, family-oriented with their families, and they get together at this theater. Fantastic performance, variety of music, everything that you can enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it again. I mean, my gosh. Sister Act but that we saw here back in 21 was phenomenal. And now Savannah Live, great. I think every time we come to Savannah, we've already talked about it, Tom and I are going to be coming to a show here. In fact, we'll make sure there's a show here before we plan a trip. <laughs> this is a must stop while you're in Savannah. Yeah. It is. Two interviews at night. So yesterday, our first trolley driver, Cynthia, who was awesome, told us that a must-visit breakfast place here in Savannah is Clary's. So that's where we're going this morning. Wow, Clary's for breakfast. Been serving since 1903. What'd you think, Mom? Oh, it was delicious. Good service. We sat outside. Beautiful weather. Yeah, be ready to eat because they will fill you up. I mean, literally, the dishes are twice as big as they need to be. I get You could split one. We could have done that. And the grits are to die for. You two know, co up. Yeah, coming down here, I, two things I have to get when I'm down here is that's grits and collard greens. Uh, I love <laughs> me some good collard greens and some grits, so we had to come down here and eat breakfast, and we were not disappointed. Well, you got the grits. Now you just have to follow up with the collard greens. Well, we had collard greens the other day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we part. ate collard yeah, greens the other day. I yep. Worker. So you have had, and I have too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Great, great quality food, though. So, a couple things here. We're about to tour the Andrew Lowe House, and this is another historical home tour. The tie here is we already yesterday toured the Juliet Gordon Lowe House, which was the birthplace of the founder of the Girl Scouts. She married Andrew Lowe's son and later lived in this house. So um, there is a tie between the two homes. But also I want to talk about the wrought iron. Here in Savannah, back in the 1800s, the more wrought iron you had around your home, the wealthier you were. It was a sign of prosperity. So, obviously the Lowe family was doing pretty darn well. One of the things I love about the big homes that tour here in Savannah is they all seem to have these beautiful courtyards, so they had private outdoor space. Each one is unique that we've visited over the years. I love them. Wow, the 
The Andrew Lowe House. Mom, what would you think? It, it really was historic. It was beautifully, a lot of originality in it. The uh, fabric of the materials that they utilized and the sculptures in there, gorgeous. They I got to tell you, these home tours are phenomenal. Don't think, even if you don't do the tour pass and you're coming through and you see $15 a person, Man, these are guided tours. These folks that are giving us these tours know so much history. If you like history, you are gonna love, love these home tours. Um, I didn't think I would originally, but I'm here to tell you, it's, I love it. I love these home tours. I, I, I find too that the ones that we've come into, the guides are so knowledgeable and they're gestures they use and the history they tell about it's like they were born and raised here right they know so much about the family that you feel like when you walk out of this home you know something has gone on you relive the past of that family yeah absolutely so strongly recommend these home tours and this one was phenomenal yeah it was thumbs up <laughs> So behind the Andrew Lowe house, you'll find what was originally the stables for the house. And they say that this is where Juliet Gordon Lowe held the first meeting of the Girl Scouts, was in this building. Try the world famous Leopold's ice cream. I'm looking forward to it. My favorite ice cream has been coffee. I'm getting two dips here of coffee. I can't wait. Yes. Oh yeah. It was worth the wait. So one of the things we really love to do in Savannah is just to wander about the historic district, which is a lot of blocks of Savannah. But one of the things to look for in the architecture is, first of all, as we mentioned in one of our videos from a few years ago, a lot, most of the entryways are on the second floor. And if you want to know why, I'll link to our previous video because it has a very specific purpose. But this, we believe, is Savannah Gray Brick, which a lot of the houses are made. It's a local brick. And what we've noticed this year is as we wander about, if you look, a lot of the homes have uh, year plates that they were built. This one was built in 1852, but they also mention who they were originally built for, which I think is so cool that the original owner's names are still on these homes. This was built for Joseph Gammon in 1852. That is so cool that they still talk about the original owners here. I love that. Who are you gonna call?
Mexico. The next house we're going to tour is the Green Meldrum Mansion. And it's said that William Tecumseh Sherman used this house as his headquarters while they were here during the Civil War. It's said that this is where he sent the message to President Lincoln offering him the city of Savannah as a Christmas gift. Let's go see it. The Green Meldron Mansion. Wow, this was another interesting tour. What a house. Not only the story of the architecture, but the story of the wards of Savannah, as well as the people who lived here and came through here. And just another amazing tour. This is the first tour where we had one tour guide on the first floor and another tour guide on the second floor, which was really interesting because you got multiple stories. So. Another one I really enjoyed. What about you, Mom? I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. And the furnishings, some of them are original. The family member of Sophia, the one that was final member, brought some of her furniture back and put it in the building. So some has been dead, donated by the church next door. But it's a great, beautiful home. Beautiful. Welcome to our campsite here in Savannah, Georgia. This is site number 178 of the Creek Fire RV Resort. And this is a resort that came highly recommended to us. There's a lot to like here. We're about uh, 20 to 30 minutes outside of historic Savannah. So easy to get back and forth, not far from I-95. There are a few things that we think they need to focus on a little bit. We're doing a complete park review. Um, later on, so stay tuned and I'll let you know where you can watch that if you're interested in seeing more about this park. But they offer pull through and back in sites, gravel and concrete, full hookup, 30 and 50 amp, um, picnic table, fire ring. So let's talk about our time in Savannah. Savannah is still one of our favorite cities. We absolutely love coming to it, the beautiful live oaks, the beautiful squares, so much to do, just phenomenal. Thank you again to Tour Pass for offering us our first day on the Tour Pass. This is where we first discovered the Tour Pass service back in 2021 here in Savannah. Had such a phenomenal time, saw so much. This time we used it again. We upgraded to a two day pass, just like we did in St. Augustine, and we saw for the most part, completely different things than we did the first time we came. So definitely recommend them. Check out, I'll put a link in the pinned comment and then a description and also on our website, rvamericayall.com, where we'll have this video, our old Savannah videos, because we did a ton of stuff when we were here in 2021, and all of the links to the fun things that we did while we were here on both trips. Hope you're enjoying this series with Grammy Kay. She's always fun to have on board. Make sure you're subscribed so you'll be along for all the fun. And until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.